Welcome to the Toolsec tutorials of Autodesk Maya. All right, so we'll continue to Toolsec randomizer. Let's take a look at the function tab over here. Big combo box on the middle left includes functions defined in random library within the Python language. There are two exceptions which do not belong to Python library directly, solo and custom. That means you can search these functions over internet and get all kind of information about them, except solo and custom. We have already mentioned about uniform and solo. So uniform returns a value between minimum and maximum limits and solo returns its single parameter value. To get a general idea about value distributions of REST, you can utilize Python scripts in the other folder of Toolsec. Just locate your Toolsec installation over here, then open up other directory, then dive into Toolsec randomizer directory. All right, foremost, you will need a Python interpreter installed in your operation system to execute these Python scripts. Then run all commands in the lib file to install Python library requirements. Let's open up this lib file within a text editor. So you have to run this command to install this Python library requirement. All right. After that, open up any file you wish within a text editor and examine parameters at the almost beginning of them. So let's open up beta variate function. These are parameters of beta variate function. Let's open up expo variate function over here and this is the parameter of expo variate function let's open up gamma variate function these ones are parameters of gamma variate and these for gauss these for log norm variate these for normal variate so on and so forth Change parameters as you wonder and double click to execute the script file. Afterwards, you will see a distribution graph which will give probabilities of values. Let's check Gauss distribution. Let's open up Gauss.py file again with Mu100 and Sigma50. Let's double click this file to execute the Python script. All right. Volumes close to 100 have higher probabilities. And the further we get from each site, probability decreases. Let's look at a few of them pretty quickly. This is for beta variate function expo variate function gamma variate we have already looked at gauss log norm variate normal variate so on and so forth all right let's change parameters of gauss for instance and take a look at the graph again mu 10 sigma 1 save the file Double click on gauss.py again. All right. With mu 10 and sigma 1, volumes close to 10 have higher probabilities. Minimum limit seems almost like 6 and maximum limit seems almost like 14. All right. As soon as you decided your parameters, write into the randoms panel by clicking on the insert button after selecting your function in its combo box. So let's click on the insert 
button. All right. You can also right click on the random label to do exactly the same. So left clicking on the random label will write and right clicking on the random label will append combo box value into randoms panel. Middle clicking clears panel as you remember. All right. Then change initial parameters with your decided ones. So let's change this 10 and this one to 1. All right. So let's see a few of them in action with move Y component mode operation. So let's create a brand new polygon plane over here. Let's scale it up a little bit. Let's subdivide it a little bit. Let's enable smooth mesh preview for the sake of this tutorial and let's get to component mode, type move Y, select vertices, load items, and all right. Go to function tab. Let's try beta variate and click on the randomize button to see result. All right. Expo variate. Gamma variate. We forgot to click on the random label. Gamma variate. Gauss. Let's scale this down a little bit to see better. Gauss. Maybe one more for log norm variate. All right. There's one more called custom. If you want to go even deeper and write your random function, locate your installation again and find the file named toolsec underscore randoms dot py. Open it with a text editor. So this is the file we are talking about. Let's open up this one with a text editor. All right. You'll see all functions in the combo box here, including custom. Change custom function with your own implementation according to your demands. Variables set in pre commands can be captured here without doing anything extra. You'll get more detailed information about pre commands in one of the future videos. All right. When you make modifications, in this file, you have to click on the reload button to reflect your changes. Otherwise, you have to restart Maya to reflect changes. All right, let's see this one pretty quickly. Let's make custom function very simple like return to. Save the file, click on the reload button. Let's create a brand new polygon cube over here and check object mode, load item and check translate Y attribute, custom function, click on the random label and click on the randomize button to see result of two over here. All right. Thanks for watching me. See you in the next video.